Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. Now you can see my Kawhi MP9500 looks a lot different. Well, this is not permanent and I'm not gonna actually do this on my Kawhi because I like the white keys, but look at it. What I did is um, I'm fixing a Steinway for one of my friends, as I showed you in another video. And what happened is that I have to make sure all the keys are there. So. These are just key tops, everybody. They're not really on this piano. So let me go around the other end and show you. These are just nothing but key tops right over here. And as, as you can see, they look like they have grooves in it. And this is the, um, the ivory look, the old vintage ivory look that's on here. And as you can see, they look like they've been worn out in age. These are actually brand new key tops, but the look of it is like a relic look, which is too cool. So let me take one of these key tops off and show you. And this is exactly, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but you can see in the light, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like almost like marble, which is pretty cool. So that's the actual key top right there. So. I was thinking for this vintage Steinway project that I'm working on, first make sure all the keys are there. And the vintage Steinway project that I'm working on, either the nice, beautiful ivory look, which is a little bit more expensive, or just the regular white keyboard look. And this is just a plain white look on it. So I'm gonna present this to both of my, my friend who I'm working on the Steinway, either the white look on that vintage Steinway that I'm working on. It's an upright, by the way. Or the ivory look, which is right here. Now, the other thing about it too is that upright pianos, I have to measure the key length because upright pianos have more of a shorter key length than a grand piano. This has the key length of a grand piano. But if you go to an upright piano that has been made like in the 1920s, and it has ivories, it's definitely a shorter key length. So I might be out of luck on that, but we'll see. They just want it to play, they want it to look good a little bit, play good, and sound good. So I'm working on that project tomorrow, but this is how my Kawhi would look if I would have added the vintage key tops on it. So comment, uh, write back, let me know what you think about it. I'm not gonna add this to the Kawhi, everybody. Because to me, it doesn't look good. If I were to add this, then I would add um, alligator skin uh, sides, which, will, which would look cool. I'll add the al alligator skin sides, but I like the white keys just like this. And that's it. So all the keys are there from this key tops to that key tops. By the way, key tops, you could get them at um, Shaft Piano Parts. Um, these key tops cost me, I think, around... Back then it was $15 each. I think they hired their price to like $25. Uh, I'm, well, these are like $35 because the way how they are uh, for the set. And these right here are like $25 for the set. But um, that's it. That's basically it. So do me a favor, click like, subscribe, follow me on everything and go to my Facebook. If you're on my Facebook, go to my YouTube, subscribe, uh, follow me. I'll see ya, bye-bye.